Hello and welcome to another part of my F122 driver career mode here today for the Australian Grand Prix. If you missed the last episode, I can link down below and also to a playlist if you missed any of the episodes. Going into qualifying, being very much hustled by Mercedes and just costing us a lot. Thanks Lewis for that. Lewis somehow by following us as fast as fair play. Now we get a hustle by Red Bull of Max Verstappen. Here we force wide because we were improving and Max didn't carry one. He's on for Paul. But I don't know, maybe a Red Bull being quicker can push around the track quicker. Who knows? But as we come up to the line, it's another poor qualifying. And let's go to the race. The crowd are here and it's brilliant to see them lining the track here in Albert Park. It's going to be a fantastic day of racing. Welcome everyone to the Australian Grand Prix. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Fernando Alonso, Sergio Perez and Sainz, Sonoda, Leclerc, Magnussen and Mick Schumacher, Ricardo, Gasly, Robert Schwartzman and Verstappen, Albert, Joe, Nicholas Latifi and Brown, Ocon, and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Natalie Pinkham joins me once again in the commentary box. It's fantastic to have you with us today. I'm curious though, how do you think the drivers stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the run down into turn one, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It'll keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. So then onto the formation up for the start of the race and stoned at last behind the TV. We can't get beat by the TV. That's not happened. That's not happening as so one stop I decided to be aggressive for once and go onto the softs. So we'll see what we can do with that. Maybe get a good start as we time it to perfection. I mean it can't get it for us, we can only go forward, so here we go then to the five red lights. And they're out of a run away of Mercedes 1-2 and it's a great start by Lando Norris up front because he started taking last night in Jeddah and we've got an incredible start as well. Absolutely best start I've ever got on this game so far. Side by side we've gained multiple positions at the start. Virtually Cause of it and Verstappen in qualifying is down the inside we go of the Alpha Tauri and another battle in them and on the back of Verstappen can we get past Verstappen and no unfortunately that Red Bull was too quick and he got away and now we're left defending Latifi side by side with Latifi he's going to go down the inside into that quick chicane he backs out of it because I wasn't up front though, this is Verstappen, he needs to get his way through the field very quickly, has to do what Charles Leclerc did in the very first race of the career mode when he got spun round at the start and then came back through, I think he got on the podium that day as we send it down inside of the avatar of Pierre Gasly job done, he tried to come back at us and now Nicholas Latifi may have a look at the Alvatarius, this is our start, we up to that to absolute perfection. Best start I've ever got in the game. 
sent it out inside multiple cars, where to where with the TV and we did go on to get that place. This is Lando Norris's incredible start and then has to back out of it because George slams the door and then he gets absolutely swamped by those ahead. So he could have maybe got the lead into turn one but turned out to be awful for him as now Verstappen went up the road like you would expect and we're left defending the avatar of Pierre Gasly just like it was last time out in Jeddah if you heard this time we can do what we did there and stay ahead but Gasly is through then through the quick again and now Latifi yes Latifi again is on the back of us and Latifi overtakes us back down the inside we go though to stay ahead of the Canadian as now he is being pressured by Esteban Ocon in the Alfa Tauri and skipping on to lap 5 Latifi would come back out to Jet you can see Gasly has gone we push Latifi right off the track and he loses out, loses out to Ocon a little bit naughty that was there the two Canadians go wheel to wheel and Nicholas Latifi just had to dive bomb on on Esteban Ocon tries to go around the outside backs out of it now through the quick chicane look at the absolute train behind us and a bit of a Aston Martin sandwich there with Lance Stroll at the back of it through gets past as though goes Esteban Ocon in his Alfa Tauri as we head through the final couple of corners a little bit wide there we've gone wide now Latifi tries to have a look around the outside but can't we force him wide and now side by side is he in the tyre tracks I believe he is but it looks like Lance is more are we going to be free wide no Latifi on the inside we swap him the dummy and go back around the outside but unfortunately we are just a little bit too far back to do so and now that's it Lance trying to get past us and Latifi is through as Lance is now going over to wheel of Albon and he stays ahead of Alex Albon there and now he's skipping on towards the end of that we are still hunting down Latifi as we've gone wide we've hit Lance we've put Lance in the wall we've put Lance Stroll in the wall we have spun round again there and we are in a lot of trouble there we've just wiped Lance Stroll our teammate out of the Australian Grand Prix he ran wide and in the words of Lance Stroll he came back on the surgeon like an idiot but I can't really, I dropped it, I was just trying to keep the car in a straight line and it was there I can't help it as we have to serve a stop play penalty as well as our normal penalty Perfect job from you and the crew there mate, we're delighted with that As out of the pits we come now and very sheepishly we're going to have to join the back of the field onto the hard tyres try and get them to the end Boy have we got to get points in this race now to make up for that We've got to drive our heart out this is a replay of what happened then, so we understood right off the track, dropped the back end and Stroll was there and it was a very good pirouette but then we got spun round again there by and the Alfa Romeo sportsman and then we had to spin it back round this is Lance's point of view then so we had to set off the track and we wipe off his front right tyre and the boss is not going to be happy with that this is Albon's point of view <laughs> it looks like we just wiped him out and Albon actually hit us there and that's actually allowed Latifi to get away as we restart this race Fernando and um, Sonoda P2 still yet to pit and George now leads it now there's still a lot of cars in this race that are still yet to pit and now we've just got to go for it now <laughs> we're going to have a massive massive guard when we get out of the car at the end of this race we go wheel to wheel with Yuki Sonoda 
Big Sale of 16 has made this one well, nice stop of the day and we go round the outside of Yuki Sonoda who's looking for a good result after that DNF in Jenna last time out out to the final corner we go now we've had a bit of a wobble there massive wobble Yuki Sonoda who we battled last season here in Australia finds himself ahead unfortunately and now we're going to go to here with Gans with Arcon and now <laughs> that means we're too far back and cannot go back at Yuki Sonoda he's been going wide and now here comes Arcon round our outside and the Alfa Romeo Swordsman has seen his opportunity to try and go round the outside but Arcon is just about able to hang on and I can he's done that dip look at Swordsman he sends it down the inside of Arcon Arcon wasn't expecting it and tried to get us as well I wasn't expecting it but he's ended up losing out there and now Arcon trying to go round the outside be squeezing off the track and now Swarzman might be able to have another go at the Alpha Tower driver is here comes round the outside I'm not backing out Arcon but neither's Arcon round the outside and he is sent us to the shops there fair play Arcon that is an incredible move but you're not getting away with it let's back down the inside we go and rear take Arcon Arcon though trying it again at the same corner this time we're ready for it as we run wide though on the exit Arcon comes back at the inside and we are going to send him back down the inside we lock up a bit he has to lift off more than he wanted to but he still gets the exit around the outside we had a great battle with Arcon and Gasly and Jeddah and this is very much part 2 as we go a little bit wide they're so hard the final corner this year to get the traction as Arcon comes at us again now side by side Arcon has he done it this time it looks like he has we tried to cut him back and we'd be he will have the DRS as well because of the one detection zone but we are going to send it back down the inside of Esteban and we get the job done on the Avatari this is turning into an unbelievable battle it's this is Arcon again on the outside and there you can see in the background Albon is eyeing up a move as well as he's got past Wartsman around the outside though Arcon's not as brave as he was earlier on in the Grand Prix but we do stay ahead and he's actually lost out to Albon there and he's lost out to to Swartzman and Joe and he's down at the back so maybe we made contact and maybe he had damage around the outside tried out one no and he's actually lost out there nearly to the Alfa Romeo there side by side sportsman all he wants to do is overtake today and I think yes it was it was just free wide Joey Gwen you tried to make a free wide that's the back out of it and he would have very nearly wiped out his teammate on the outside there and sportsman here he comes on us to the inside we hold it around the outside but now he will have the run down into turn 3 to have a go and he is going to have a go around the outside we force him wide and Joe has got past Albon somewhere and now he's got past both of them he tried to make a free wide at the end of last lap and he does get past all of them this time and now our battle with Joe Graham you does reach another chapter as side by side we go through now is he going to back out? Is he going to do what Ocon did? Yes he is, but he backs out on the apex. And now, uh, will leave himself under pressure from Albon and that's exactly what happened. He leads it out to Albon. Albon now tries to go to the outside. We hang him out to drive around the outside and stay ahead. Now though, is Albon close enough to have a little look into that corner? Yes he is, we leave him the space, but he is. Still side by side is there in the background, you can see two Alfa Romeo side by side and Joe is there and the Swartzman again is here they go again Albon does overtake us, we send it back down the inside and Joe slips his way through there beautifully back ahead of the Williams 
is now here comes Joe on the back of us now down the inside into the first corner with side by side we try and hang him to have to drive around the outside but now we've run wide we've run wide coming out of the the, the corner and Joe's got passes we try and send it back down the inside there's a retirement and Joe's locked up Joe's locked up and we've gone back through and now he might have made the pressure from Albon again so for the final time then we're heading down where everyone's all over the place there's our one on the inside of Joe and we've been spun round on the final lap we've been spun round for not the first time today and we're going to finish this race in stone dead last we put up a great defence but 3 into 1 doesn't go I only left one space for one car and there was two We've been spun round and we're going to finish stone dead last on the road. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. Natalie Pinkham. How do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everyone played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So Lewis Hamilton wins his first Grand Prix of the season. Lando, after that poor start, gets on the podium. Fair play to him. It's a very best race of the season so so far, I think. As we did everything we could to keep us between everyone behind, and then we get spun around at the last corner. We'll forget about the when we wiped out Stroll. I think. <laughs> That's going to be a talking point for races to come if we can't get points as we're still very much struggling with this car. In terms of the constructors, you can see Lance is still ahead of us. And we are nowhere. We've only still got that one point from the first round in Bahrain. And that's been this video in this episode. I hope you enjoyed the race. Very dramatic at, at points. We did everything to keep those behind. I hope you enjoyed it and wish me luck as I'm about to go and have to sit down with the bosses and explain what happened. But until the next race in Imola for the first sprint race of the season, goodbye.